Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. And uh, this one uh, today is going to be further on Elementor. And it's going to be about columns. And uh, columns within columns. There's been a lot of chat about that on the Elementor Facebook group lately. So I thought, well, let me just go show you how I did the samples that I posted up there. See if I can remember how to do this. And it's going to take more than three minutes this time. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's go back here. And as you can see, I've uh, gussied up the uh, demo site a little bit using uh, Anywhere Elementor from an and over at uh, Elementor add-ons. And I just thought to make it look a little bit nicer to look at. So anyways, columns within columns and that sort of thing. So let's start off with a new section. And we'll go with uh, two columns. So here we have our two columns. Now one of the things you need to know about columns. Uh, let me just go show you. Uh, let's say I want to uh, style this and to put a background color in so we can see what's happening. And I'll use this one. Okay, and let's say, wow, what the heck? I don't see a background color. Well, that's one of the first things you need to know when you're working with columns, is there needs to be something in the column for it to display its styling. And uh, what I used uh, for those uh, screenshot samples was just the spacer. Drop a spacer in there and there you go. So without anything in the column, uh, no styling uh, will be displayed. Oh, that's one thing. So let's go and duplicate that spacer. Plop it over into that column. And now we can go and, uh, oops, not give that column a different color like that. So here we are with our two columns. Now one of the first uh, items on there was to get um, another a column underneath that, like a stacked one. Well, this is what I did. I went down here, popped another one in, and they only wanted uh, one column. So you select that column, delete that column, yes. Now you have that one column. And again, we need something in it, so I'll just go put a heading in. And I'll go over here to select that column and give it a different color, say yellow. Let's just make that centered, it bothers me. Come on. You ever have that happen? It takes a couple clicks sometimes. But anyways, uh, so here we have a column uh, within a column. So if you wanted to then add another column, why not go like that? And you could come over here, select that column, and add another one. So now we have three columns in that one that can each be styled. Uh, differently. Oops. And sure enough, wow, what the heck? Again, there is nothing in it. All right. So let's just duplicate that spacer and put it in there and go over here and choose another color. We're running out of colors, so about a dark green. Okay. So you can see how we can get our columns uh, within columns. Now, if you need a, another row of three columns, well, here's the quickest way I know how to do it. And just go up to the section and duplicate the section. Now we have another one with three columns, and they can each be handled separately. Right, change that one and go over here and change that one. 
Thank you. Oops, that's not a good one to use now, is it? <laughs> and this one. Which one did we use? I don't know. Okay, let's use that guy. Okay. So here we have six columns, two rows. You say, well, I only want two in this bottom. Well, that's no problem. All right? So in this one, here's the one. Whoopsie. Oh, we're going to get rid of a column. Now we just have the two. So we got the top one that we could still put something in. Right? And we have these that we can still put something in and on and on. And of course, these spaces are buggering up the altitude and everything, but you get the idea. And again, uh, by default, your columns will touch unless you go over here and to set the column gap and we'll go wide so we can see what's going on and then you set the column uh, here so you can uh, we'll, we'll just unlink it here and we'll just go to the right and increase that column like that okay so hope that kind of helped uh, on how you can work with columns within columns um, a lot of you may not know, but <clears throat> that other uh, page builder won't be having this feature uh, until later this month or next month. Anyways, when 1.9 comes out. Uh, but anyways, uh, hopefully that helped clear things up. And, uh, well... Uh, if it didn't, ask a question on the Facebook group or leave a comment here on the website. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and also on Sniffle Valve uh, so you can find out when more stuff's coming along for Elementor or Generate Press or any of these other fine products. Okay, well, thank you for watching and we'll see you later.